최고 So while I was rigging up, I just set up a bit of a drift line, can see which way I'm gonna go now. So I'm gonna shoot back up around here and then try and drift through all them marks. Should all be rocked there, so let's see what we can get. Hopefully something desirable and not mackerel. Probably notice I'm putting a fair bit of a flick into this um, retrieve. It's just because I'm using a little 60 gram jig and it does require a little bit more effort, just the weight of the jig being so much lighter. You just want it to load the rod tip up so you can get that flick and that's what gets the directional change. Oh, that was a bite on the drop. It gets that directional change so your dig, jig can dance back up and essentially it's like walking the dog just you can't see what you're doing so you're really sort of relying on your tackle to know that your jig's down there doing the right thing pretty heavily pressured little spot this one's pretty close to home so i'm not expecting anything epic but I might pick up a diamond or giant herring or something cool like that which would be nice Line's getting a bit far out now, so just have to wind him up and reset. You really want to try and stay over the jig. Just helps to get that action going. Yeah. Just on the initial drop, you probably can see I'm feathering the back of the spool there just to stop it from overrunning. Um, I don't. I want it to get down like as quick as possible so I can stay over the top of my jig. So if I just free spooled that, the jig would flutter the whole way. So it'd essentially take probably double or triple the time to get down. So just that little tiny bit of tension can um, get your jig down quicker and get you in the zone. fish down there now. Fingers crossed this will be the one. I'll give a plastic a go, it's not really doing it. I'll give this little cloud nine a go. Probably gonna get snagged.
little baby trout. Yep. Should have known. He would almost be legal. Oh no. Dig him out. Bit hungry, mate. He's eating his friend. Jigging's a little bit slow. I'm gonna go have a little bit of a look for some triple tail on the way in. And um, we've got a fairly solid weed line here and I'm gonna chuck the electric in and see what we can see. Okay, a little light rod out. I've got the same rig as I did on my last video. So, little light Dobbins, uh, 2500 reel and 10 pound braid, 30 pound um, Sunline FC rock, fluoro leader just for those sharp little teeth but give it a crack see how we go stay tuned all right we've got a fish just over here sitting under a clump of weed not as big as the last one but oh i'm gonna fall out of the boat Let's see if he wants to play holy shit position us just down stream a little bit from him he's tied up under the weed so he's not easy to get a cast onto shit angle to try and push up against to oh he's just changed color he's all lit up in there come on oh this is the cast right past his face Oh, not even interested. He's actually just taken off. What did I do to deserve that? Oh, I got one over here too. Two of them. Is that like triples? along the surface oh they were oh they're going to come right into the boat here no he's swimming down on it come on boys yes oh yes little tiny one here's his mate behind him just spooked <laughs> oh man, I can see two more. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. net ready <laughs> oh Whew. there's another one <laughs> Little triple, really cool fish. 
actually love them. <laughs> Two more triples sitting under this clump of weed just out the front here. I did just drive past them on the plane, so I don't know how they're going to go eating, but you have to try. Whoa! Yes, yes, got him. Mm. Yes, 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 got him. Mm. That is it. All right, that's me. Bit of a random day. Trout, a couple of triples and a golden. Been um, out for the best part of the day, so pretty keen to go home, crack a beer. Yeah, if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments and uh, we'll get back to you ASAP. Cheers for watching.